hi uh, in this tutorial uh, I will show you how to do exactly the fast booting for Windows 10 alright guys uh, I know this is kind of very frustrating when you buy a new Windows 10 and it starts very late and uh, this is kind of a problem which is very difficult to explain but however in this video I will show you how to make your Windows 10 booting very fast okay so uh, what I need you to do is we will disable some of the services which are not required in the startup program and then you will sh know that the Windows 10 will even boot very faster okay so what you have to do is just press the Windows plus R button on your keyboard and then you will see a box coming up and in this box you have to type services dot msc okay and then just click on OK button okay here it is opened up now now just maximize it and you will see in the services which are not that much necessary now you can disable those services the first one here is the background intelligent transfer service okay this is the services which is used by windows to update and in order to receive updates windows use this service so this service is background intelligent transfer as you can see here in the description transfer files in the background using idle network bandwidth if the service is disabled then any applications that depend on bits such as windows update or msn explorer will be unable to automatically download programs and other information right guys so what you uh, what you do is here just right click on it and then go to properties and there you can see is the startup type okay so what you have to do is just select the disabled as you as soon as you have disabled this services just stop this services as you can see the service is stopped now click on apply and then OK okay so as you can see the background intelligent transfer service is disabled okay and uh, the next one here is that I would like to share is um, super fetch okay this is services we don't need uh, so what you, you do is just stop this service first of all and then again right click it and go to properties and in the startup type click on disabled so click on apply now and then ok okay super fetch is disabled and bits is disabled that is bit and the next one is windows update okay it is also update service which is used by windows here it is as you can see here as you can read in the description enables the detection download and installation of updates for windows and other programs if this service is disabled users of this computer will not be able to use window update or its automatic updating feature okay so whenever you connect to the internet the windows automatically st start downloading the updates and it becomes sometimes very much slow and that's the reason that the computer also runs very slow okay so what I need 
to do is just uh, right click on this go to properties and in the setup type click disabled okay and then click on stop as you can see here that windows is now stopping this service it will take some time oh okay so it is now disabled uh, now we have to stop the service and click on apply and then click on ok okay so windows update is now disabled as you can see here and the next one is windows search yeah here it is as you can read in the description it provides content indexing property caching and search results for files email and other content right so what I need to do is just right click on that one again repeat the same procedure go to properties and click on disabled then stop this service and click on apply and then ok ok so windows search is also disabled ok so we have disabled these four services super fetch windows update background intelligence transfer service and uh, windows search service okay so we have disabled all these four services and now you can close this window and and your computer is now very much optimized okay it will now even boot faster okay one thing more you can do here is um, just go to this document folder and click on this PC and right click on it and go to properties and then go to advanced system settings okay as you can see here and now you can see here uh, it is written performance visual effects processors scheduling memory usage and virtual memory as you can see here okay so just click on settings and there are three tabs visual effects advanced data execution prevention okay so just click on advanced and as you can see here it is written virtual memory a paging file is an area on a hard disk that the windows uses F as if it were RAM total paging file size for all drives 1152 MB okay so just change it we will change it just once okay just uncheck that box automatically manage paging file size for all drives as you can see here you have to select the custom size okay and it depends upon your RAM suppose your RAM is 8 GB then what's the initial size for your uh, computer will be it will be 8 into 8 as you can see here the my computer RAM is 8 GB okay so what you have to do is 8 multiply by 1024 okay that is the 
initial size for your computer okay as you can see my computer RAM is like 8 GB around 8 GB so what I will do is I will multiply it by 8 okay 8 into 8 multiply by 1024 MB okay so you it will around 8192 MB RAM okay and the maximum size you ha just have to double 8192 and you will get 16384 MB for maximum size now just click on set button ok and click on ok ok and then again click on this ok and as you see the settings are applied now and just click on ok now close down this window and close all the other windows and here it is done now your computer will even boot much faster as compared to the previous one okay so in this tutorial you have learned how to boot Windows 10 computer very fast and it is very much easy to use and it is very reliable Windows 10 PC I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel alright Thank you guys, thank you very much.